G'day everyone, Matt Elder Family Bricks here. In this video, we'll look at the Lego Pick a Brick Wall at Blue Water. Now it is reopened on 12th of April 2021. Deep breath. <sighs> Warning, this may get a bit ranty, but it's been some time coming. This video is brought to you by McCatsum Holiday Homes in Margate and Broadstairs. Great for a week's holiday or a weekend escape, being just over an hour east of London, UK. Treat yourself to amazing sunsets, a Lego wall or great food. Visit www.macatsim.com and mention this YouTube video and we'll look after you. It's great to be able to move forward, get back into Lego retail spaces and geek out with passionate stuff about our favourite plastic brick. However, it's an ongoing frustration to walk into a store, see product that is for sale and not be able to buy it. This isn't new and has been brought up in several videos before. Click around here to see them. This means that largely the pick a brick or pick and build or PAB selection hasn't changed much in over a year. Granted retail spaces have been closed for about six months of that period. The issue again is limiting the number of PAB cups, this time now down to two. So it is that classic chicken and egg scenario. Nobody can buy enough to deplete the stock to bring in customers in more regularly purchased stock that isn't turning over because you're limiting the amount you can purchase that will re-trigger resupply. I was able to have a bit of a chat to the staff and get four cups of a single piece, which is what I wanted. So credit to them for extending it to that. They were running stackable promos, so if you spend 150 pounds, get the Amelia Air heart and the ice rink and two poly bag gift with purchases which is great still being available four days after reopening and why i love the lego stores rather than lego.com purchasing that have gift with purchases disappearing almost immediately site up site down in stock out of stock in your cart out of your cart coupon code entered in the wrong place coupon code no longer accepted on back order now retired depending upon your refresh speed but i couldn't get that with pab cups i would have happily spent another 100 plus on pab cups this has happened several times over the last year so there's hundreds of pounds that i haven't spent on a product sitting right there in this store that has been designed reviewed manufactured quality controlled shipped around the world placed in a retail space ready to buy supported by an unholy marketing machine of corporate of nostalgia of the tiny child influences fan media lugs registered lugs only that you can't your money is not welcome here even though you want to spend it and we think we want to take it but we aren't sure. Speaking with other affholes, they're having similar problems and weekly spends to Lego stores that may come maybe once a quarter. Why are they actively turning away business of loyal customers? It makes no sense to me. Once you break a spending habit, it's difficult to get it back. Once I miss out on a collectible coin, I'm less inclined to complete the set and continue spending on unplanned impulse purchases. I understand if people want 20 different pieces in one cup, it's quite laborious and slows down throughput massively. There was a person in front of me today who was getting a small cup, picked out 20 different pieces and had a great time doing it. The staff were great in interacting with that customer and ensuring they had a fantastic experience. Everything you'd want from a retail experience and was happy to wait while they had that level of service and attention and interaction. No issues. My purchase was eight times the value and a third the time to serve me. If staff is issue, put an extra person on at 15 pounds an hour or whatever it is, as the return on that wage will be many multiple times over. I got there at 9.45 a.m. and there was a queue and when I left there was still a long queue. I'm sure there'd be a number of people who know exactly what they want and would be in and out in a flash if they had the opportunity, as they are only purchasing one or two items. In a world of click and collect from supermarkets, department stores, Argos and restaurants that have pivoted to takeaway models, why can't LEGO have a similar click and collect service? I suspect it has something to do with constantly crashing website and poor IT infrastructure. It just blows my mind how that last mile of their distribution system fails time and time again and we've come to accept it. Sorry, COVID is no longer a thinly veiled excuse to cover up systemic failings elsewhere. I think LEGO must be one of those companies that has such a good profitable product they don't have to get the fundamentals right, which is best practice in so many other corporations by default, because if they weren't they wouldn't survive. Have they not learned from the early 2000s? where they almost went bankrupt. It seems the same red flags are popping up again. Check out David C. Robinson's Brick by Brick for a detailed analysis. I know a number of AFOLs looking at comparable building products like Kobe or moving on to other collectibles like Fungo Pops and action figure statues like Soho Collectibles as getting product from LEGO has become so problematic. COVID is here. Businesses pivot and adapt and LEGO just don't seem to have that agility or desire. Apologies for a bit of a rant and we now resume our normally scheduled content. On a happy note, Legoland Windsor UK earlier in the week reopened for the first time in 2021 and you can check out that review video here on what's open, what's not, what's changes, upcoming new rides, etc. Alternatively, here is a video on how to sort and steal your Lego. Great for those pab cups. Otherwise, these are some other videos you might like. That's it from us here at Family Bricks. Hit that thumbs up if you found something useful in this video and thanks for watching. Until next time when we talk about all things Lego and lifestyle.